I am back out here again on my bamboo hut land and I've been spending a week in town just sorting out that um, that property which is now finished and this place looks really wild there's things growing everywhere and we're coming up to what's called a winter season now so it's going to get a little bit foggy it's going to get a little bit cooler which is great need a bit of cool weather just starting to mow the lawn and just checking all the trees and everything yeah the uh the bloody cows just came and ate my banana tree annoying cows I'm gonna put a fence up there later on anyway um, yeah just everything's outgrowing I've got that puppy art tree has grown really good that's been probably the best thing that's grown also that puppy art tree there um, so just time to do some work here and we'll look about we'll look at ordering a, a tiny house in a couple weeks That is all nice and cleaned up. It looks nice when it's mowed. It looks like it's been taken care of. Fruit trees growing well. I've been talking about this for a little while, about somebody coming to measure the property to make sure which part of our land is ours and which one are the neighbours. And that is going to be happening this week. There are so many termites here, I don't think I can get rid of every single one. But if I can reduce them, that would be helpful. Or if I can just get them away from this hut area, that would even be better. If you see people, you know, building huts in the middle of the forest and they look, they're shirtless and they're doing all this primitive thing, that's all bullshit. I mean, come on, there's heaps of mosquitoes around, there's heaps of bugs. They just do that for show. In reality, if you live in a bamboo hut like this, you can live comfortably, but you need to be prepared. You need to have mosquito nets, you've got to have smokes or insect repellent. You've got to have, you know, something to cover your face so that um, mosquitoes don't bug around your face, you know. And yeah, like I said, termites and bugs and ants, scorpions and snakes. So yeah, if you see people shirtless in the forest building a bamboo hut, um, it's just for show. <laughs> Do you really want to be shirtless with no shoes, walking around in the bush building bamboo huts and have that walking around? I don't know how they do it in the olden days. In the olden days they did live in bamboo huts and wooden huts like this. But they must use a very good technique to get the bugs away. Because when using modern, you know, modern stuff now. Just going around and brooming everything just so that it's all nice and clean and then I'll know if it works or not if I see another pile of wood dust everywhere but um, 
Yeah, if I don't broom it out, I'll just think it's still here. The guy at the shop who sold me this thing just said just spray everywhere. Along the wall, just everywhere on the bamboo. The chickens haven't laid any eggs yet, not sure why, the only answer I can come up with is maybe someone is coming and stealing my eggs while I'm not here. We've got neighbours around, this place isn't really monitored or fenced up, and maybe, just maybe, somebody's just coming in and just taking what they like. Which shouldn't happen because um, I've got tools lying around. And nobody's stealing my tools, but maybe they just like eggs. I'm thinking of moving these chickens to my place, the one in town, and just keeping an eye on them. Otherwise, KFC might have to go into my stomach. The coop is very clean. I'm quite surprised on how clean it is um, after a couple of weeks. Um, I haven't had to clean it out or anything like that. It just looks nice and tidy. Um, they're well looked after. They're fed. They've got water. They're, you know, everything's all good with the chickens. It's just they haven't been laying any eggs yet.